or Oxon Hill, who yeah. cares? Oh, that's there are other public access channels closer to those communities. We sure. need to concentrate on Bowie, Glendale, Bowie and Glendale, and that's it. That's right. Bits and of Mitchellville that are close to us. And uh, you know, what we need to do, John, and it's the only thing I see in the Bowie Blade News that's given much space in that sports area. Yeah. We need yeah. to attract someone to come we on. Should, we, yeah, we need a sports guru. Well, that would be a great yeah. idea. Anybody out there want to become a sports commentator for uh, Bowie Community TV? Write to us. That's it. That's and, and all of the, I, I guess our telephone numbers and our email will be placed yeah, at the it, bottom. Yeah, it follows in the, uh, in the credits. And send Anybody them. out there who has an idea for a show who would like to do it, I remember, I go so far back, I remember the old BC TV, which was prior yeah. to this, and there was this lady who in her Levitt house presented a cooking show, mostly Italian yeah. food, and it was great. Yeah. Surely there's somebody out there that like to have a cooking show, a hobby show. Right. I notice we now have the veterans. I, I turned that on last week and saw the, the uh, omnipresent Jerry Devlin mm -hmm. and Ray Chattery and some other fellow I can't West. remember. But it was a good show. Yes. It really was. I, re I watched the whole thing. And it was doing what they intended to do. It and was. Get the message out about the veteran services that are yes. available. Yes, because that's and very important. Absolutely, and they're looking for support from not only the members, but also the public, and elected officials make decisions, and they've had a couple of people on, Doug Peters and uh, Levi, Delegate Levi, mm. on recently. Well, I, she was on that show, and I'm yeah. not too sure what she was talking about. I know. <laughs> the important thing is there's some decisions made, and they need to get the word out what, they're, what they do. Yeah. And they're always there, and... Although we're right in the middle of a lot of our uh, soldiers out of, you know, in all categories of services. Yep. And yet the veterans groups are not growing as well as they once were. But this happens, I think, with a lot of uh, organizations. Well, I'm now. a member. And good. I have yeah. enough two of them. Well, see there? That's, <laughs> I'm glad you I never go to meetings. Well, they <laughs> want you to be a member and uh, at least support them. I used to support so the up, up at the DAV. I used to support the bar, but since I, I since I am now a teetotaler, it's you know, well, no sense. Yeah, you know, maybe that's <laughs> that'll help our stock a lot here to understand that too. You've been watching a lot of those Sunday programs. I'm sure that's helped you out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, but George you know, Stephanopoulos and yeah. company. And you know, another thing you mentioned the cooking mm. show. That person we should um, reach out to. I don't know. I Absolutely. Don't know we, we could remote it at the house, at, sure. at her kitchen, or his kitchen. There are some good yeah. cooks that are men. You make a good brisket, as I recall. Sure. But really, that's what we've got to do. I just look at the path that we, we, we yeah. are running, and it's just, it's just, it's boring. It's got to get more. Uh, I know Mr. Coney had, uh, Dr. Coney's wife, had an arts program. Yes, she did. Very yes. good. Excellent. Went to a lot of trouble. Very informative. She's very active in the community. And I wonder if some of our, probably our re requirements of producers may have been a, a barrier to some people. Well, then we should look at them. That's the thing we should do. There's a couple of more things, John, we're trying to initiate with our BCMC, uh, Bowie Community Media Corporation that runs, That's us. Uh, runs a program. <laughs> and that is to develop more interns. Mm -hmm. And we're thinking, as you know, we're working on a scholarship for yeah. our interns yeah. who participate in the uh, studio work, and of course the... And we want some interns with some pizzazz. Right. You know, we don't need interns just coming in here and standing around like they're in a fog. They need to participate. Right. Well, this could be helpful, and if we have sure some could. requirements. There was one young lady who was dynamite. Oh, I sure. I haven't seen her lately. I haven't, uh, and I know they have limited time that they can do volunteer work, and what you consider yeah, volunteer yeah. work. But, you know, another area that I'd like for us to kick off this year, and that is having a group of citizens that watch our program, all the programming on a regular basis. And critique it. And willing to critique it. Yeah, I agree. And we will develop some team that could do this. Yeah. We don't need a lot, but a half a dozen people would be great. Oh, absolutely. And people that... And be candid. Yeah. Be totally candid. If you think the program stinks, say so. 
That's exactly the point. Well, we better be careful. Someone might say that about us. Oh, yeah, we got to be. Well, it <laughs> means we need to keep our act straight. But the important thing is if we could get this group that would be willing to do that, and yeah. they wouldn't have to spend 24 hours a day doing it. Oh, no, no. Uh, just certain programs. We could give them a list of programs. The programs we want to be reviewed. Yeah. And if they have an opportunity, if they, if they don't watch the program, they might be willing to. And we should have some recognition for them. Oh, yeah. And plus, the, it's, it's very easy for them because... It's on YouTube all the, constantly. Anytime mm -hmm. you have access to your computer, all our programs are there. You don't have to sit and watch the TV if you don't want to. You can just go and turn on your computer and watch the same shows on YouTube. And you know, John, I, I think we need to talk to some businesses, too, that are willing to set up some arrangement where people that are willing to do this, willing to take their time to do the critique, get it to us so that, and, who, and also vote on the programs at the right. end of the year. Right. We need to have more public input, and we're working on how that can be done, where anyone, they don't have to mail anything in, they could actually go to the email, maybe Sure, and email, it's fine. And there's some help there. So that's something we need to work on, John. And I'm sure there are people out there that would be willing to do it. We have a lot of media people. Well, you know, oh, sure. for instance, Terry Schutte. Mm -hmm. And there are other people that live in this community who have been in either print journalism or in, in the electronic media. And I'm sure we could coerce them into it. Oh, they'd be excellent. Helping out, yeah. yeah. Because of their experience, if nothing else. But guys, 35 years as an editor, now you're starting your, uh, pro I'd say what, your My career as a second producer. career as a producer. Well, actually, I co-produce. You do all the work. <laughs> I don't think that'd be the case. Well, actually, you don't. It's the guys <laughs> in, the, uh, in the office that do it. That's exactly right. You know, John, there's a couple of three things. Number one, this session in... Annapolis now, our yeah. session was coming, I guess, in a couple of weeks or so. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, uh, with the situation in the state like it is, what do you think they will emphasize in their session this year that might help improve the income, revenue, sources? Oh, Bert, I, you know, you look at it, look at the national scene, who knows what they're going to do. They're not going to do any stimulus, I'm sure, it will be mm -hmm. probably ineffective. There's so much that could be done uh, to start trimming the fat. There are not, you know, well, I give you, a, Upper Marlboro's a good choice. Why should these characters on the county council have five staff members? That's, right. That's ridiculous. <coughs> Go in there and get rid of three of them, all of them. But at the state level, too, they're going to have to trim. Yeah, that's it. And, and that's going to be, yeah, this is going to be economics, economics, finances, finances. Right. No question about it. Well, you're absolutely right, and I've wondered if other people get the same impression. If so... Of course, then again, Bert, our, our local legislative delegation, I don't know, they have their own... I haven't quite figured out what some of them actually do down there. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I haven't. They're not as, um, they're, they're not as local as I remember no, in the past. They're not the Buzzy Ryans and Jerry Devlins and David Ross. That's they're, right. they're, they're not that, uh, not at all. And not the... Uh, I think there's a, a lot of hubris that yeah. I see. I really do. You know, those, those our other delegations in the past have not had quite the mm -hmm. self-importance uh, mm -hmm. that these people generate. I saw it demonstrated right here on this show. I won't yeah. mention names, but uh, that's not that's not good enough. No, uh, and you know, John, the how well do you think the public are, or how seriously are they taken about? Communicating with their elected officials. Not too. very. It's lit. No, it's good. They, people right now, except for maybe going to a tea party or mm -hmm. <laughs> something along that idiotic uh, nature of that idiotic nature, they're not involved. They're too concerned about their own families. They're too concerned about their mortgages, yes. their credit card debt. We are in a mess. Oh yeah. And it isn't Barack Obama that brought us on and brought it on us. It's you know, eight years of the Bushies started it all. He's trying to cope with it. God knows if he's going to be able to. It, it's a very scary situation. Well, you say that, John, but let me tell you, it seems like there's so much happened in this last 12 months. Oh, big time stuff, year. big time. But it has come so fast and furious yeah. without a, I don't think there's been a lot of opportunity for public input to a lot of the no. measures on the Well, there's been the plenty of the level. loony input, but real reason, debate. The, the Congress is dysfunctional. The Republicans are adamant that they are not participating in anything. Locked out. And the left-wing Democrats are just as loony. My God, that health legislation, no matter how it comes out, is a bloody landmark. 
Oh, yeah. Absolute landmark. 30 million people will finally get some health insurance who didn't have it. It's not ideal. I favor the public option. That's not going to happen. There's too much catering to the big pharmacy companies and the, uh, you know, the big medical conglomerates.